Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather in 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 31st of May, the last day of the month. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Excel GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. And that will get us into the middle of June. I shall get to my back for you in a moment just to say that first a video say was our 6 a.m uk weather forecast and we've also released the 11th summer update as well so please check out those two videos if you'd like to do that like share and subscribe on the vids and thank you so much everybody uh for doing that we have uh, launched our appeal our charity appeal for uh rainbows for rainbows hospice we launched it yesterday so uh we're going to be raising money and awareness for uh, Rainbows Hospice throughout the coming week. It's all going to culminate in a live stream on Saturday. Uh, this coming Saturday, actually. I need to say next week. Actually, it's coming. This coming Saturday now, twenty seventh of May. I'm going to be live streaming for three hours from six pm till nine pm. I'm going to be trying to raise as much money as we can. For rainbows, um, we'll be remembering my mum, Mrs P, as well. We're doing this in her memory. Uh, we lost her on the twenty seventh of May last year so it'll be the one year anniversary and uh and, and to remember my mum you know we're going to be raising as much money as we can for rainbows hospice and there'll be people uh, joining me on the street as well it's going to be absolutely epic i can't wait to see you all on saturday we've also got a just giving page so you can donate to rainbows two ways you can donate either uh, on the stream on the night through the super chat facility or you can also donate on our just giving page the link to the gas um just giving page for rainbows is um in the uh, description with this video and we're sharing it across social media as well. So we've already uh, less than 24 hours in, or just 24 hours into the uh, into the into the event, you know, and we've already uh, got close to 200 pounds, up to 185 pounds. Absolutely incredible! Thank you so much, everybody who has donated so far. You still got plenty of time to donate. You know, we're going to be running this all the way until Saturday. Um, and I just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I know my mum would be absolutely overwhelmed you know that that you're uh, giving these donations um in her memory so thank you thank you thank you and uh yeah what we're doing is really wholesome it, it's lovely and uh the gals Wellness community yet again is uh is just unbelievable and amazing so thank you so much to each and every one of you I'm blown my flabber is ghastly, as always so thank you so much to all of you Right, okay, let's start off with the uh, video then. And that's uh, the announcements are done. Let's have a look at weather. So I'm going to start off with central in temperature, of course. CT I'm currently sitting at 12.2, which is 1.1 degree above 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 20th of May. That's going to carry on. Ticking up, I think, over the next week, 10 days. So it could well end up in the 13s there by the time we get to uh, month 10. Certainly up at 12s anyway, but it might even climb its way into the 13s. We'll have to wait and see. These are the GFS upper air temperature and temptation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at Nottingham today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Nottingham. We're a little bit above average at the moment. The trend is generally an upwards one through uh, the remainder of May. And maybe it's starting to edge back down again into June, but of course that's a very long way off, very extended range, so therefore is unreliable. The trend is definitely uh, for temperatures to lift up, both upper and surface temperatures, uh, through the remainder of May. Precipitation-wise, loads of dry weather as well over the uh, rest of May. It looks like there's barely any measurable precipitation there, actually, for uh, for Nottingham. I suppose there will be a few showers uh, occasionally, but really, really dry over the remainder of May. That's a bit more uncertain when we get through into uh, June. But again, you know, that is extended, and so therefore is unreliable. The uh, operational road, which is a bit green line, does actually have quite a big uh, spike there uh, around the 5th of June. That's probably from Thunder. We'll have a look at that in a moment but it looks warm and dry for the next week 10 days anyway temperature normally is from the 21st of may to the 29th coming out generally above average except in the far south where it's a little bit closer to average 
Um, and that's probably due to cooler nights at the moment. So although daytime time will be quite warm, it will be offset a little bit by some quite cool nights, especially, I think, through the early to middle part of this week. Precipitation and normal sort of very dry from the 21st, 29th of May. So it's a bit warmer and also drier than average. Let's move about from urbanlowschool.net shows that high pressure is ridging through the country from the southwest to the northeast. Again, the sense of high is around the Azores, but it's ridging into western and also northern parts of Europe. Right, let's start going through the chart data then. Uh, let's do that. So this is how the latest UK met your run. Looking for midnight on Wednesday. High pressure ridging in from the west, being lots of dry and uh, quite uh, Fine weather, warm weather with it as well. And that high pressure carries on, ridging through right way through to the weekend. And, you know, probably even beyond that, as far as we get to, it's a Sunday. So, uh, Sunday 28th of May, well into the bank holiday. And the high pressure is anchored there, right over the top of the coast. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere far. So, if we, could go, if we could go on any further, I suspect that high pressure would have, you know, further to go. It doesn't look like it's going far at all up to that point, does it? I can't again with the high pressure in control for Wednesday. Brings lots of dry and fine weather with it. High pressure best carries on throughout the weekend as well. Uh, so as far as we get to is to midday on Sunday. And once again, we see high pressure is dominating. There's a bit of a fungi low around this day. So obviously we'll have to watch to see whether that started drifting Northwards. But up to Sunday, anyway, it looks high and dry. The GFS midnight run, again, with high pressure dominating from off the Atlantic into western parts of Europe. That high pressure continues to stick through the country throughout next week. Maybe weakens a little bit temporarily around Sunday. Might bring some showery dish into the north there. But then the high pressure re-strengthens again as we go beyond that up to day 10. You know, high pressure country in control. Look at this, even into early June, that high pressure continues to strengthen over Scandinavia. We're drawing up wind from the southern south east direction. It's very warm, maybe even, you would say, hot. And um, just perhaps a hint of a fungi breakdown there at the very end of the GFS midnight run, which gets to the 5th, 6th of June. But that's a long way off. I wouldn't be overly concerned about that. This time the GFS 6Z is looking all much of a much this for this coming week with high pressure again ridging in from off the Atlantic with lots of dry and warm weather with it, heading up towards day 10. Again, the high pressure is over and to the east of the coast. We're drawing in the wind for southerly, south east direction. Looks mostly dry, fine and warm. That high pressure then carries on into early June as well. Before we start to get some thundery weather going, uh, by the time we get through to the 4th of June, we've got a thundery low both to the south and also to the west. A bit of a pincer movement is going on, and that does look quite, you know, quite thundery, quite wet by the time we get to the very end of the uh, GFS 6 But again, we're talking about like two weeks away, so it's a very, very long way out to be uh, worrying about that, I think. If you're enjoying the video, please thank you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web. And also uh, check out uh, Rainbows and see the amazing work that they do providing uh, vital care for uh, children and uh, young people with life, lim life limiting and also uh, terminal conditions. And if you would like to give a donation, to uh, Rainbows and please check out our Just Giving page and uh, that's amazing. Thank you so much everyone. Right, GM again the high pressure through the country on Wednesday bring lots of dry fine and warm weather with that high pressure sitting right over top of the country into next weekend. Looks mostly dry, fine and warm and all the way up to day 10. High pressure going no far, nowhere fast so <laughs> just look dry and warm and fine. There's not much to say really. I'm trying to come up with <laughs> something to, to say but to be honest it's not a lot is there you know it's it's all much of a muchness and and and, and it is what it is you know so go rid of the ecm and again high pressure is in control i wonder how many times i said high pressure that would be fine somebody could, could count the amount of times i said uh high <laughs> high pressure uh in this uh, video that would be funny um anyway it, it, with the ecm like up to the weekend high pressure is sitting over the country it dominates uh through the back holiday weekend up to daytime we're still high and dry just a hint of a bit of a fungi low patch to ourselves 
trying to push northward, but basically that high pressure brings lots of dry, fine and warm weather up to date. And this is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometeo.com, and it's looking mostly dry over the coming days, so we won't worry about that too much, because they're not going to be able to see, really. Um, just a few showers there around day 10 in the south, a few thundery downpours, perhaps coming into the south, but again, 10 days away, so so um, it's a long way off that. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Gets us to the 31st of May. 18 members of the ECM Ensembles with high pressure over and to the north of the coach being lots of dry, fine and warm weather. And then we've got 17 with high pressure reaching in from off the Atlantic into the north northeast. And we've got 16 with more above average high tide pressure over the top of the country. In two week time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 5th of June, 22 members of the ECM ensemble zone, taking the high pressure just out to our west a little bit, and uh, probably dropping in like some slightly cooler air from more of a northerly direction. It's just still emotionally dry with that. We could be a bit showery in the southeast. The main thing is that the temperature will be cooler. 19 with high pressure just to the north, and again, mostly dry and warm with winds in from the uh, east, and 10 with high pressure again over and slightly to the west northwest once more. Playing dry and quite warm scenario. Uh, with that, I think CFSB2, lastly, these are 500 millibar height and orange broken down into week periods. The first week period will take from the 21st to 27th of May. The coming week will be dominated by a large area of high pressure over the top of the country. Goodness gracious me. Week two is going to be the 28th of May to the 3rd of June. The high pressure again is right over the top of the country, both dry. And five week free, uh, free. You guess it. It's the fourth of the tenth of June, and you guess it. High pressure is over the country and to the north again. And then week four, I'm sure this isn't a surprise. Rounds it all off. It's the eleventh of the seventeenth of June, and high pressure is just uh, sitting there. And by this point, I imagine it could be quite hot. So um, remarkable, you know, remarkable consistency across the entire model output, the high pressure to be dominant at least to uh, early June. And if the CFS is right, it could go on. Um, it could go <coughs> it could go on into into the middle in the second half of June. Wow, wow, wow. We'll see. Right, if, you enjoy, if you've enjoyed the video, please give you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gaz Wavis. And as they please check out uh, Rainbow's Hospice, the uh, link to the website. Rainbow's website is in the, uh, in the description of this video. They provide absolutely amazing care for uh, children and young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions. I went to visit Rainbows uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, you know, their facility is, is unbelievable. It's second to none. I will talk, uh, second to none, and I will talk about this on the uh, live stream on Saturday night much more, but what they do there is, uh, is just un incredible and unbelievable. And they also take hospice out into the community as well. Can you believe that? They will go to people's homes and provide care for children in the home environment. And they'll even go to hospital as well and, and help to uh, look after these uh, very, very sick and poorly children. So they're doing unbelievable work. And, and, uh, and thank you so much, everybody, for checking out Rainbows. And also thank you so much, everybody, for uh, the donation so far. And as I say, if you'd like to give a donation to uh, Rainbows via the Gav, the Gav's uh, Just Giving page, then uh, that would be incredible. Thank you so much. Right, uh, so that's it then for uh, today's videos. We'll be back uh, tomorrow. I'll just say coming up tomorrow. We'll have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We'll also have uh, a 10 to 14 day. I'll be live streaming as well at uh, 8 p.m. So I shall see you live for our Monday uh, evening live stream. We'll look at uh, 12Z and we'll also have a look at the uh, at some long range as well. I might, uh, we might have a look at Beijing Climate Centre this week. We'll see. But, um, yeah, so, so live stream, uh, 8, before that, 10 to 14 day, and 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.